Hey everyone, it's Anne Samoylov here, and thanks for watching this video. I am doing a bit of a series this week, so it's Wednesday. We're halfway through the first full work week of 2015, and I'm here trying to make it work for myself, trying to get as much done as I possibly can, but also to help you do the same thing and to really get a good start to the year. So here's what's happened so far. So Monday, we just kind of chatted and on Tuesday, I shared some of my workflow changes that have happened this year and how I want to create more valuable content for you, but not necessarily spend more time doing it. Uh, so check out those two videos. There will be links below and hopefully somewhere on this screen. Uh, we also spent time yesterday with the lead pages folks and specifically Tim Page did a live presentation for us for using lead pages to build our lists. And if you are focused on anything in 2014, 2015, how long am I going to do that? Then you should be spending it on list building. Spend it building your audience. This is something that will always serve your business well. So when in doubt on what to focus on, focus there. So if you ha didn't get a chance to attend that live, send me an email at support at .com and I can hopefully get you a replay or when the next class is happening. Then today, I am closing up loops, closing up loops, and some of them are good loops, some of them are loops that are just kind of hanging out there, some of them are partnership requests, some of them are projects that I have been asked to be part of, and some of them are just things that people have asked me that I knew I wanted to respond to. So today it's about just that kind of connection, the connection and closing loops. And I want to encourage you to do the same thing this week. Maybe you already did that earlier in the week, but I didn't. I didn't want to be in my inbox on Monday morning. So I do know that I saw a bunch of people on Instagram tweeting about, or not tweeting, but Instagramming about their inboxes, getting to inbox zero. I'm not even close to inbox zero, but I will be. That, though, is not my goal. My goal is I have a list of loops that I need to close with people and make sure that I follow up with them. Um, and then tomorrow, just to kind of keep this week going, I want to make sure that you know about the live class that's happening uh, tomorrow, Thursday, the 8th, January 8th, at 12 p.m. Pacific. And you can go to ansamoylove.com forward slash events. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be getting some lessons, some tips, some advice, and we're going to get schooled a little bit on how to use Evernote to manage our launches. And as I kind of said in an earlier video, I've had a love-hate relationship with, with Evernote because I always feel like I put a lot of info there. It's really great to write in it. It's a really cool environment to uh, write blog posts and whatnot. But when it comes to using it in a, in a way that helps me manage my launch, I end up just leaving a bunch of info, information there or I don't really take action on the things that are inside Evernote. So I'm hoping Natasha can get me back in the, back in the swing of things so that I can use it. Um, another thing, though, is that I will say that it may be difficult because right now I am using my Filofax and actually this is a brand new Filofax. Ooh, um, it's not the main one that I want. I'm actually ordering another one, which is another six story, which I will save for another day. But regardless, I went to a paper planning system in December and I've been loving it because I've been tired of these digital wastelands of info that I just put there and that I don't do anything with. So come tomorrow to the live class. Let's have Natasha bring us back into the fold, show us how to manage all of that material, um, and show us how to manage our launches in Evernote. I can't wait for that. And that's it. So if you have anything to do for today to really make sure that this week you know, that you use this week to its fullest, that you use that momentum of the new year, it's this, close loops. So I'm not talking about just responding to every email willy-nilly. I, I know that in, in, on the, off the top of your head, you could probably list 10 to 20 things 
or people that need responses or need to be resolved. So do that now. And especially people who are waiting for answers from you, try to get those responded to today. Okay, And if not today, at least set time this week to respond and close the loops. And that's what I'll be doing. All right, people, have a great day. Make sure to check out all those other videos from earlier this week. Email me if you want the lead pages replay. And I'll talk to you soon. Have a great week. Let's keep this going. Okay, bye.